How's the hair? Oh, it's kind of crap. All right. Restart. Hmm. Hi, Nita. chat <laughs> Hi Lauren. Need are you using voice text? That's cool. Hi Sandra. How are you guys? I don't know if I should move this over more like this. I don't know. Okay. Hi, Sarah. I'm okay, Nita. I'm good. How about you? How are you doing? What you been up to? Did you get to sew all day? So I could be all jellyfish. Hi, Tanya. You guys, I have just gotten an email from Becky, whose last name I can't pronounce. And she says that um, that she was sick and, um, you know, she apologized. Hi, Rose. Hi, Gina. Um, and she's, you know, she's like, oh, I, I hope I don't get disqualified from future giveaways. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I mean, I haven't had time to reply to her, but I'm thinking... You're not disqualified from anything, you know, in the future, but oh my goodness, like I feel terrible because I was starting to think, you know, I had no idea. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Hi, Pamela. You were pouring all day? Hi, Nancy. Hi, Colette from Michigan. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Mel. Hi, Glennis. Hi, Angela and Peggy. So how are you guys all doing? How's it going? Hi, Robin. Hi, Karen. Two Karens. And Connie and Teresa Louise. Sonia. Shannon. Linda. Peggy. Mimi. Stacy. Peggy. Shelly. My day's been okay. It's been all right. Uh, how about you guys? What have you guys been up to? Hi, Barbara. Slip casting snowmen and bird baths. Wow. Hi, Robbie. Oh, good, Robin. That's awesome. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, Sandra, I'm learning as I go. I, <laughs> I've never had, um, I, you know, yeah, I know. It's, listen, I, as I go, I pick up lots of, Great tips. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Lisa spent some money. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Vicky's got a day off work. That's so nice. Working. Hi, Carol. Hi, Sandra and Marsha and Cindy. Oh, spring break is next week. That sounds good. Canceling work events left and right. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Joni. <laughs> Hi, Donnelly. Hi, Brenda. Oh, Pamela, what happened to your daughter? Like flat tire or something? That's horrible. The kitties are good. Um... So Sammy is sleeping in front of the fireplace, which of course I will have to go and turn that off in a little bit so I don't burst into flames. Um, and everybody else, I mean, I'm assuming, oh wait, Jelly Bean is sleeping on top of his little spot. And Smudgy and um, Scout, I don't know. I have the laser mouse because Jim got home and he has to do some work. And so, um, Scout bugs him 
every night, all night long to play Laser Mouse. He is like obsessed with Laser Mouse. And so I brought Laser Mouse up here and I told him, I was like, come up here. And I was playing with him for a little while. And then he like took off out the door and I don't know where he's at. And I'm like, well, I, <laughs> I have to be here. <laughs> so you have to come up if you want to play Laser Mouse. So, um, okay, where are we at? Hi, Rose. Rose did some cross stitch and she's quilting a wall hanging. That sounds awesome. Robin, I ordered fabric with the pattern. Was that from your shop? Um, I, I you no one has ordered fabric from me in a long time. So I don't I don't think that's you. I don't think you ordered it from me. So it might be you might have ordered it from somewhere else. Um, hi Loretta. Oh good. Mimi's having a great evening. Something flew off a truck and hit her car. Oh my goodness. Whatever it was, went through her radiator, causing a bunch of damage. She's fine, just shaking up. Well, yeah, that would scare the poop out of anybody. Hi, Angie. Wee, you're here. Nancy's going to get her order tomorrow. <laughs> Connie got another sewing machine, and it's used, but it's nice, and she got the cabinet with it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hi, Patricia. Oh, your nephew is recovering from knee surgery. I have no idea why this keeps happening. Um, his pain has been up and down. Hi, Laura. Oh, Deborah, are you just, are you doing the small or the large? Sandra bought two quilt patterns today from Lori Shifting, Antelope Canyon and Mirage. Don't know when you'll make them, but they're awesome. I know. I do that all the time. I do that all the time. Oh, cool. Okay. Awesome. Happy to have you for a second. Oh, the <laughs> yeah. This is a great mug. And it's it's really large. I mean, look it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all this it's really crazy all this stuff um a small colorific oh cool um this this whole thing with the coronavirus is just unbelievable i don't want to talk about it guys <laughs> we we don't have to talk about it at all but it's like wow you know hi george ann yeah, this is, it, it's it's really great. <laughs> I love this mug. <laughs> I ought to get like a, like seven of them. I have one for every day of the week. Um, yeah, so I, what was I going to, um, <laughs> I have to like monitor my own uh, thing here. And there we go. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Yep, no, no fire is zone. That's right. Hi, Joanna. This one? <laughs> I'm going crazy, look. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, you should get your box on Monday. Um, I have the, the tracking, but I didn't send it to you. If we have any problems, then I'll let you know. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, no, I don't know. I don't have anybody in here, uh, tonight. <laughs> um, Christy, my Georgia sunshine bestie, she does a lot of volunteer work. And tonight she's volunteering at her church for, I don't remember what she said it was. She's involved in so much volunteering. It's crazy. Um, so she's like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to be there. And then last week she wasn't able to be here because she had a migraine. And um, JB is sleeping up there and he's got his whole head flipped like this. <laughs> JB. Everybody wants to know where you are. He's doing this now. <laughs> so cute. You're so cute, my baby. Everybody loves you. <laughs> He's napping. 
<laughs> I think I want to come back as a cat. That's all I'm saying. Well, my cat. <laughs> oh, I love your little kitty cat. That's cute. Hi, dog lover. Do you have dogs? Um, yeah, so anyway... Um, I think what I'm going to, what I really need to try to do guys is I'm going to try to keep my lives to an hour or a little bit less if possible. Um, because, oh good. I love, I love all animals. Really. I do. I just only want cats in my house. That's all. I love all animals. Um, just anything. If you guys, do you guys follow, um, kitten lady? She's on Instagram. She is on Facebook, too. She's got a YouTube channel. Um, anyway, she has started, like, foster... Well, she'll foster, like, any orphaned baby, right? And um, so she's on her the second time that she's fostering a little piglet. And when he first got... This, this second one, when he first got there, I mean, guys, he's like... He's the littlest thing. She had kittens, and the little piglet was smaller than the kittens. <laughs> and, you know, the little hooves, they're, like, all pointy. And so every time he's walking, he's like, run, run, run. And it would be like, <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. Um, Nita's not loving her bird right now. What's the bird doing? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> We're having a good night. Two lovely labs. Awesome. That's awesome. My mom has, a, they have a dog and two cats now. Um, and when I was growing up, we always had like a whole bunch of, had a whole bunch of animals <laughs> inside and out. Hi, Naka. So it's my anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> and so, yeah, so we got that going on. What else? The immersion is, oh my goodness, just start watching the videos. I get really um, behind on like everything. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still asking him to build me like a little. I don't want a she shed. I want a she mansion in the back. <laughs> Hi. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm hopefully starting to film my mini series tomorrow i want to get them done like as early as possible so that i'm not behind the a ball like i always seem to be with everything um thanks guys i appreciate that two shelties sleeping on the floor in front of you my birds grinding his beak on the sole of my slipper <laughs> oh that's so cute it's 26 years 26 years. I got married when I was about 12. <laughs> Thank you, Mulberry Ellie. <laughs> well, I just think the she shed is too small. I want a she mansion. I want like a, I want like a big, big shed. <laughs> I have too much fabric. <laughs> Sammy, are you enjoying that fireplace, baby? I'm about to have to turn that off. Mama gonna burst into flames. Soak it up for a little bit, son. <laughs> you take any side. That's so cute. <laughs> Nila sleeps on your leg. Aw. Sherry's decided to use the Allison Glass fabric from the Sew Sampler box with the Diamond Divide pattern. Okay, cool. I don't have a catio. <laughs> That's right. We could we could <laughs> burn down the she shed. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Uh, I just, I feel kind of like crazed right now. Have you seen the camper die now? What? Oh, you guys who are going to, um, I know that there were, I don't know, remember who it was, but somebody was going to the um, warehouse sale for pineapple fabrics, but they had to cancel it. Lisa, you're going to add a catio? Cool. We want pictures. We want to see. Oh, geez. Karen, let me go turn off this fireplace and then I'll come back and talk about that. Hi, baby. Oh, there is Smudgy. Hi, Smudgy. Hey, buddy. Mommy's hot. I have to turn it off. I'm sorry. I know. You guys could turn, you, you guys could be like 5,000 degrees and no problem. So, I, I don't know. So, basically, it was just, um, they canceled because of what we're not going to talk about on this live tonight. <laughs> they canceled because of the coronavirus. <laughs> I know I can't, it's 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 not funny. I don't mean to laugh. I really don't. But y'all, I ended up having to. I ended up having to pretty much hoard some toilet paper. Did we talk about this last week? Because <laughs> I started seeing on TV about, like, people were, like, at Costco with, like, two and three buggies full of toilet paper. And I'm like, you know, I think it's ridiculous. I truly do. I think I'm ridiculous. But I was like, one thing I do not want to do is find myself without no toilet paper. <laughs> so I probably just made it worse. I don't know. But I was like, I'm sorry, but that's like the one thing that <laughs> is not going to happen. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, do I have pics of paper piecing quilt along? Are you talking about the mini series? Y'all got no TP in Australia. That's crazy. My husband had a, um, well, he has this conference that they have every year in Texas. And so he had booked everything. I mean, it was, it was supposed to be like at the beginning of April, right? So he had like his airline tickets, his hotel, you know, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, and they decided they were going to cancel it, right? <laughs> so, and he had booked everything through Expedia. So he calls over to Expedia to find out how he goes about canceling everything and and they were like um well when he called they were like it, it said there was some ridiculous amount of people on hold and they said that the wait time was over four hours and so they were like you can put um they were like you can put um yourself in a callback and call you back between, I don't know, they gave him like some times between like 9.30 p.m. and 1.30 a.m. And he's like, this is crazy. He said, I had to put myself on a, and I said, so you going to stay up till 1.30? And he's like, no, I'm just going to put the phone by my, you know, in the bedroom and I'll hear it if it rings. And I'm like, okay, you guys, they called him at 1.30 in the morning to cancel. Hi, Suzanne. And because of, because he was trying to get like the refund or whatever, because of the whole coronavirus thing, I know we're not supposed to be talking about that. I'm, I'm trying not to even say it, but you couldn't just process it through the website. You had to actually call and talk to somebody. You, like you had to. It was just ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> um, You're only allowed to buy one packet due to craziness. Women even cat fighting in the supermarket. This is crazy. It's crazy. You know, it after I bought the three cases of toilet paper. <laughs> because the, the push come to shove, I ain't going to have to worry about TP for like a half a year, right? <laughs> and I'm laughing because I just realized how stupid I was. But listen, it don't matter, okay? I'm going to have some toilet paper. And then I thought... You know, if we really did run out of toilet paper, I mean, push come to shove, you can always just like 
use a washcloth or something and then like throw them in the washing machine and wash them. I mean, you know, or whatever. I'm like, I, why am I, why am I like contributing to the craziness? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> if y'all need a roll, you know where to come. <laughs> Dishwashing liquid now? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, y'all, it's, it, the, it, they even keep saying that it's worse for you to get the flu, right? And it's still, <laughs> okay, we're done. We're not talking about it anymore. We're done. <laughs> it's finished. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the thing for, um, the, um, oh, Elba's here. Hi, Elba. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Teresa Louise, it's my fault. I'm, I'm like perpetuating the problem. I really am. I, I, I wish I had never have done that because now I'm like, oh, <laughs> your kids eat toilet paper. Oh my goodness. Well, I just got some fabric, um, in the mail from Riley Blake. And I have some um, that I have just recently put um, in the shop. And then these, since I just got them today, I'm going to have them in the shop. I just got um, restocked on the patterns for um, Juicy Juice and Allison Glass. So those are back in the shop again. Um Yes, I got my notification about Creative Notions as well. You can't get blood pressure medication because of it? Okay, that's crazy. This is crazy. It's really crazy. Okay, if you guys have questions for me, like for me, because I'm going through and I know some of you guys are like talking to each other. If you do the at symbol and then the event Renee, it will come up on my screen in orange so that I know that you're specifically talking to me in that question. Otherwise, I don't know because it's really hard for me to, um, to see. Yeah, this is all, this is all nuts. I know people make it crazy and now I'm one of the people. I feel terrible. I feel kind of <laughs> feel kind of stupid about it cuz it's like I don't know why I did that. I think it was because I saw all those anyway, it don't matter. I I it's it's crazy. I let it get to me and I shouldn't. <laughs> really? Because I'm not crazy about all that other stuff. Like for me, I don't even I know people think I'm crazy, but I don't really believe in hand sanitizer. I think my body is going to protect me on its own. And if you keep using hand sanitizer, then... Um, the homemade did come out. And I know that stores are starting to get it, get it in. Um, I do not free motion quilt. The thought of having to quilt something breaks me into hives, really. Um, my store is on Etsy, so, um, and also you guys, um, hold on, I'm gonna give y'all a code. I mean, the code is smudge. If you use code smudge, you get 10% off. And that's, um, I have that all the time for, um, my jelly beanies and any of you guys who are, um, you know, always following along and stuff like that. The smudge is always in effect. Um, so don't forget that. Do I have pics from quilt con of finished quilt for the quilt along? Um, which, which quilt? Are we talking about, are you talking about the mini series? Um, 
Um, what are my top three subscription boxes? Okay, for quilting and sewing. Um, if you're looking to build your fabric collection, then um, my number one would be Cotton Cuts, their classic box. If you go to... Um, hey, you, Miss Vicky. <laughs> Um, if you go to Cotton one of my uh, videos where I open Cotton Cuts Classic, if you look down in the, um, in the description box, I have a code for you to get a percentage off your first box. I don't remember what it is. Um, so that's one that I would suggest um, for building up fabric. Um, well, Cotton Cuts has a classic, and then they also have a modern um, stash builder. So if you like modern fabric, you can get that one. Now with the classic, you can either get 12 fat quarters or six half yards. And with the modern maker, you get three one yard cuts. So that's how that works. And those are just, they are fabric based. Um, so that's why I would, I would choose those two. Um, as far as a third one, you're building up your fabric. Um, I'm trying to think who else has. Good night, Brenda. Um, well, I mean, Vicky is here from Creative Notions. She's got an awesome box. You will get fat fabric in her box. You'll get also um, other things that she includes that let make it cohesive and she has like I mean I still say her box is definitely up there with all of the best boxes um so thank you for the credit from purchasing the mini blocks is that for the shipping y'all they are like they are doing some crazy shipping stuff there was like some of y'all got charged like more than double what you were supposed to pay for the shipping i don't know what they're doing i mean i put things in there like they are the only problem is that when you when you guys pick um like the priority mail there's nowhere for me to put in that i'm using a flat rate box there's no way for me to put that in there so then they charge you like a kajillion dollars and i go to buy the the postage and i'm like dude it was like <laughs> it was like, let's just say $11 and they charged you like 24. So I'm just letting y'all know that if you go through and it's telling you that the shipping is like some ridiculous price, please know I refund anything that is charged over and I do it like immediately. So, uh, I, I don't, there's no way from, I have tried, I've gone in there a million times to figure out how do I fix that? And it, it I, I, yeah. So I will always refund overages for shipping. Always. Um, you are having your 40th, Laura. Are you talking about your 40th anniversary? That's awesome, if that's what you're talking about. Um, hi, Teresa. How are you doing, sweetheart? Um... May, you got the Modern Maker. Yeah, it is a good box. It is a good box. I just, um, it gets expensive, like, for me because I get some boxes um, that ship to me for free, like Creative Notions. Vicky, she de she sends me her box for free. And I get the ones from, um, from Pre-Cuts Quilt Shop for free. So it's very, it's, it's, they make it so much easier for me to show you guys those boxes. So that's wonderful. But every other box that I have on the channel, I pay for. So, you know, it gets expensive. And um, the cotton cuts, those are like, they're like right around like 40 bucks each or something, $45 each. And so it just got really expensive. And I love the the classic. So I keep getting that one, but I had to cancel the other one because it just was too much. But, um, hi, Melissa. Oh, that's good to hear, Teresa. I'm glad. Oh, it's two Melissas. Oh, no, it's the same Melissa. <laughs> um, 
daughter works for a magazine. They canceled a convention in Vegas. Yeah, I. they're all doing that. Yeah, Patty, I'd have to double check, but I think that the Celestials, are, I'm, I probably am, am wrong because I would have typed that in there. I was thinking when I bought it that it, would, it had like some um, glow in the dark, but now I don't think so. Hi, Michelle. We're so happy you're here. What made you come over? Um, yeah, so, um, so anyway, I have that fabric and then I have a couple of other fabrics, um, that I am going to, um, put up in the shop. I got like one that's a, um, it's, are they both solids? There's two packages of solids and then there's, um, and then there's one package that I thought was really cute. It's called Moments, and I don't remember who designed it, but I'm going to put that in the shop, too. And that one's like, was really cute. Um. <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> you might be the only one who thinks that I'm doing a very professional job <laughs> of showing the boxes. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Um. Anyway, yeah, there, but the thing is, is that I will definitely, like, um, ask about, you know, I will ask them to give me the box for free. I always do, but most say no, so. Um. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Patty. Um. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. You use smudge. Awesome. Awesome. You guys should totally be doing that. That's, I mean, I, I made that one up specifically for my jelly beanies and my, you guys who are always here, you know, Sarah Palin saying baby got back on the mass singer. Sarah Palin is on the mass singer. Like you, we know that it's her. Do people think production of toilet paper will stop? I'm feeling really embarrassed right now. <laughs> I know. No. I don't know why people are hoarding the TP. But since they were hoarding it, I had to hoard it. Smudge is the discount code in my Etsy shop to get 10% off. All the time. Any time. Um, hi, Ruth. I'm happy you love the channel. I, it's the first time I'm seeing your name, so uh, I hope you'll stick around. You couldn't find paper towels. Oh, my goodness. She was the bear. Is she, um... Is she one of the new ones? Because I, I do watch The Masked Singer, but I watch it, um, I don't have cable. So I watch it on Hulu like the day after. See, Melissa, that's why I got the three cases of toilet paper. Because it was, you know... Lisa, you're so sweet. Ugh, well, I'm not going to sell it for more money. And, you know, that was actually really ticking me off because I, so at work, um, I do the, I have to buy the office supplies, right? So right from the beginning, like, they were like coming over and going, you know, Yvette, have you uh, made sure that we have like plenty of soap? And can you buy some hand sanitizer? And we need Clorox wipes. And we need, you know, blah, blah. So I'm like right away. Hi, Bunny. I'm like right away trying to find all that stuff. Hi, Cindy. And like there was already no hand sanitizer. And so I was like, well, there is no hand sanitizer. I, I you know, I can't get it. I, I, for work, I had to buy as much soap as I could. They're limiting you. 
And not only did they limit you, but like the prices were higher. And I was like, hold up because <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. And uh, I don't know. So I ended up having to buy for work like 15 cases of toilet paper, uh, as much Clorox wipes as I could find. There is no hand sanitizer. I bought soap out the boudet. <laughs> it's just crazy. The whole thing is just crazy. <laughs> Bidet. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's crazy. I don't know that I want essential oils on my booty, though. I don't know. Rebecca, we are a, um, gas prices are coming down. <laughs> oh, God. Medically fragile home and use this stuff a lot. My daughter is super sensitive. She gets C. diff a lot, and that's super icky. Hate saying this, but everyone freaking out makes it hard. Yeah. I know. There, there's none. Well, at least, at least there, if you go online, there are recipes for, um, oh, geez. I don't know that I want the rest of my life to be all about subvox openings, Kent Lisa. <laughs> um, right, so you can make your own hand sanitizer. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's getting, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Sandra, thank you for changing the subject. <laughs> so I, so the sew along, I'm doing it like along with Allison Glass and Juicy Juice because they started it. It's their thing. Um, I was going to do it later, but then when I heard theirs, were, they were starting theirs, it was like, whoa, I better do it now. Um, so March 22nd is the first day. And so I'm hoping that I will have, well, look, I'm, I need to stop saying hoping. My video will be up on March 22nd for the first one so that you can sew along with me right from the beginning. Um, because I know that there are, um, some people who um who are nervous about doing it because they haven't done it before and they think oh i can't do it believe me guys you guys can do it um i'm not saying it's not going to be frustrating it will um uh, listen when you first start something new and you know it's always frustrating so that's why we just you know we're gonna just calm down you want to stay in so, um, you know, if you are anticipating any distractions, then you shouldn't start right then. You should wait until you have some time to, you know, to dedicate to sitting down and working on it. Because it is something that requires you to be in the moment, to be present and, you know, um, so it's, it's gonna, it, oh, it's small, but you can do the bigger ones. Like they they come, um, you can do the four inch. They were talking about going down to one inch. I don't know how anybody could do that down to one inch, honestly. <laughs> but I have seen people make some pretty small things. I, that, I have no interest in doing that, okay? So I guarantee you mine is going to be at least inches, maybe a little bit bigger. I'm thinking about maybe even making mine like, you know, seven. Because I don't want mine to be all teeny, 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 you know, I, I like the tightness and I like how it looks, but I still would prefer to do a little bit bigger. So mine are going to probably be, you know, somewhere between like five and seven inches type of thing. Um, now let's see, what are we talking about? Okay. I'm past all that. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, Tamla's here. I don't think I said, Hey to you girl. Hey, Tamla. Um, thanks Barbara for a thumbs up. Um, uh, 
I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, um, I was looking at the four inch and the thing is, is that I think I want to, I, I might like continue after, you know, whenever I have like spare moments to be able to quilt because I might want to make something bigger with mine. And so I want to start with them being a little bit bigger. Um, so I'll probably, I, I'm, I'm aiming for like seven inches sort of is what I'm aiming for. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I do all that. And, um, it really, you really don't even have to make them like the actual, um, block does not have to be all the same size because you can always put um like borders around or whatever so you can switch it up if you want um I don't know what that would look like because I haven't done these yet <laughs> but um I mean I don't see why not um okay Walmart's totally empty of Clorox liquid beach bleach yeah over here too we don't have any bleach <laughs> I know. Oh, Lisa, you're so sweet, honey bun. You really are. That's really sweet. Thank you. I, and I, I know that that's what I did. I mean, I started doing box openings and I don't want to stop getting subscription boxes. It's just, um, it can be, it can be a bit much. I mean, I have like, I'll, and I get wonderful things, but I'll have so many things around here. And <laughs> I just, you know, that's why it was like last week, you know, Sherry got a whole box full of like just stuff that I had around here that I, I just have no place to put. Um, and so I just ran the box away because, you know, that's what I want to do. Um, okay, let me look back into here. Um, what do I think about the Missouri Star quilt so along? I don't know anything about it, to be honest with you. I really don't. Um, there are so many so alongs going on, and I can only focus on so many because I just, it's, I don't want to over, like, whelm myself. And I'm trying to get myself into a space where people recognize me for foundation paper piecing. So I'm going to mostly be focusing on that going forward. I will do other things quilting related. Um, but for right now, my plate's full. So I haven't looked at anything else. Um. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um. Hi, Joyce. Um, they do have different sizes, Lisa. So when you open up the pattern, like, let me just, I have one over here. I have the log cabin. All right. So this is the first one that we're going to be doing. Okay. That's the log cabin. And when you open it up, it looks like this, right? And tucked in here is the pattern which looks like this, right? And they tell you up on the top that if you are going to do a four inch block, then you will go to where this dotted line is and you can see it much better in person. It's hard to see on camera, but there's a dotted line and then it tells you that the bigger dotted line is your seam allowance. And so believe me guys, I'm gonna go over all of this with you. I'm going to go over all this with you. Um, and it's going to be fine. Y'all know I go step by step. The video might be four hours long, but <laughs> I go step by step. So you'll know exactly what to do. I've already made copies of mine because do not use your original because then you won't be able to use it again. Okay, so take your original out, make copies, uh, scan it if you want, if that if you have that capability, um, because then you'll have it forever and ever, amen, and you can just make, you can just print out a copy every time. Um, but it's, I'm going to walk you through every single thing. Everything, every single thing is going to be great. Um, oh, Donna. Donna says, I'm here late, but I wanted to stop in and say hi. Hubby wants to watch the trials of Gabriel Fernandez. Okay. I was, I, I was going to watch that too. Isn't it on, it's on Netflix, right? 
Um, <laughs> Linda, here's the thing. I know that, okay, so like when you're doing this, all right, I know that you're, you're sitting there and you're going, oh my goodness, look at that Tenancy little piece. And then look at these Tenancy little pieces. Here's the thing with paper piecing. You can use a piece of fabric the size of the Empire State Building. It, you, you can. You don't have to work with a piece that small. That's the whole beauty of it. Because just wait till I start showing you. I'm telling you guys, it is not as scary as it looks. Because what will happen is, let's say you're putting this, this tiny little piece on. One of those little red pieces or this little baby orange piece, right? You can use a piece that's like as big as this if you want. Because what's going to happen is once you go and do your pressing over and then you trim, everything that you trim off of this that you don't need for the next step, you can keep using. So the thing is, is you don't have to work with little baby pieces. You're going to trim and everything you trim off, you can continue to use. So... I'm telling you guys, it's it it looks scary. People you look at it and you're like, "Oh my goodness." But think about it. There are lots of things in quilting that look that way. But once you start doing them and you're going <laughs> like it doesn't have to be that scary. I guarantee you if there is even 10 people out there who can do foundation paper piecing, then you can. I don't care who it is. If, if there's even one person out there who can do it, then you can do it. There's no reason why you can't do it. And it's not as scary as it looks. So everything's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be fine. I'm telling you. Um, I love foundation paper piecing. And if, there, if I can just pass that on to a handful of you guys, I will be so happy. And please tell all your friends... Um, that I'm doing the foundation paper piecing. If they're nervous about it, they need to come and watch me because I'm going to do it as if everybody who's watching has never done it before. And it's going to be okay, I promise. Um, okay, so where am I? Don't be scared. <laughs> I see you, Rebecca. Don't be scared. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I, I mean, here's the thing. There are... There are patterns that you can buy that are intermediate slash advanced. Those patterns say that they are intermediate slash advanced because they have very strange angles in them. Um, when I get up to that kind of level that I'm showing, I, I will show you guys a very easy way to do those. Um, it's just that way because... It's something you you actually do have to think about it, okay? I'm not saying that you don't, but it's not impossible. And it doesn't have to be that hard. And the only reason that I have learned it is because I have made mistakes doing that probably about 20 times or 30 times or 40 times. But I love it so much. I just kept going and you finally get to a point where you're like, oh. Oh, and then it clicks. You see, it was the same thing for me with binding. I remember, oh my goodness, you can ask my husband. Every time that I would have to put a binding on a quilt, because I refused to just do that straight binding. I was like, no, no, I'm doing the mitered binding. I am going to get this down. I did it wrong a thousand times. I could sit there and watch someone do it and I would still do it wrong. Today, I love putting on bindings. It, it just, one day I was doing it and it just clicked because I, you can't give up. You have to keep going. I guarantee you, you, it clicks and then you're on easy street, right? Um, Elba, you should be able to use a jelly roll. Absolutely. Um, because you're, you're, I mean, it's going to end up being tiny pieces, right? So if you're starting with two and a half, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You can use a jelly roll. Um, I mean, if you're trying to expand yours out to like 12 inches, you may have a problem. Um, well, even then you're never going to get to two and a half wide. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Um, okay, so... Okay, so Barbara, you're asking about, um, do you have to stop and start only on the line? On these, yes, you do. Now listen, here's the thing. Once you start doing it more and more, maybe practice this before you get started. See, I use an open toe foot, okay? And I now, after doing it for so long, because I do it a lot, now I know, like if I, when I put my fabric in a certain spot, I know where my needle is going to go down. So if you just keep practicing that, just take lined paper, right? And put it on top of fabric. It really does just, you know, fabric you were going to throw out, whatever, you know, like little bitty scraps. Put it on top and draw like a little start and a stop line. And then just keep practicing where you're putting down your needle, where you're putting down your needle. I guarantee you after a bit, you're going to know that if I put my fabric right here, it's going down right there. Now there, there's a bit of fudging in it. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, bam, you know, right on it, but you need to be pretty close. You need to try to keep it there because what will end up happening is you're going to start going in, but it's, it's not so unforgiving. It's really not. In fact, it's one of the most forgiving, um, ways to do any of that. Um, to, to sew like precise points and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's really, really worth it to learn in my opinion. Um, and so, yes, it does, it does take practice. It really does. I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your booty and say like, <laughs> you know, it, it's not going to, you know, it's, it's just going to be a piece of cake. You have to concentrate and you just pay attention and I'm going to show you like things that I put in my head that made me really remember going forward. Um, it's going to, well, you see, Lisa, when I start talking about something I'm really passionate about too, I get animated. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, Marsha, I just restocked the, my Etsy shop. So I do have I do have some in the shop now. And y'all don't forget to use smudge for 10% off. Um Yeah, I need to do I have told people that I was going to do a video on binding. I have one that I did but it was on like a little small thing that I made which is good to learn, but I need to do like an entire binding around the whole quilt. So I will do that. Good night, Robbie. I hope you're feeling okay, hon. Um, Gina, the binding thing, seriously, it took me like five years. I mean, that sounds crazy, but it, but then I don't know what it is. Just all of a sudden, boom. I It just clicked. It just clicked. And then, yeah, then you do the happy dance. <laughs> Deb, I have one video, but I don't think it's really 100% great. But let me, ho I'll go over and find it just so you can go and look at that one. Um, hold on one sec. It's in my makes and tutorials. Um, and I need to have a better one. I need to do a better one. But this one at least, oops, I'm in the wrong spot. But this one at least will... Um, show you a little bit um. oh wait I don't do that one let me do this okay where's my okay that's the link to the video where I have a little binding um sample in it and I will do a better one um in fact maybe well it won't be on this one because I'm going to be making other stuff with it but whenever I I still have a couple of cotton cuts um Stratford quilts that I'm trying to finish up so once I finish those and get those um quilted by quilting by David when it comes back to me um I'll have one of those you know That's, that's the part, Gina, that always messed me up every single time, every single time. I don't care how many quilts I had already bound. 
every single time I would go to do it, I would do it wrong. And I wouldn't do it wrong one time. I would do it wrong like so many times that my fabric was fraying and, the th and I was just so frustrated. I never wanted to ever buy a quilt again. <laughs> And every time Jim would be like, so are you going to buy the quilt or? <laughs> and now it's, you know, there we go. Oh, you're fine, Robbie. You go to bed, baby. You're fine. You're fine, hon. If I could go take, go to sleep right now, I sure would. Bye, Vanessa. <laughs> It'll all come to you, I promise. There you go, Angela is sending y'all over to Becky at Power Tools. Um, oh, MJ, hi. I'm missing people saying hey. Maxi Makes taught you how to do buying. Okay. Jelly Bean is sleeping over there. <laughs> they're all sleeping in here or at least they were i don't know well sammy was in here and smudge was in here but he actually called who <sighs> who calls me in the middle of the night i mean for goodness sakes uh i didn't know there was a question about the add a quarter what what did y'all ask sorry did y'all like put the Addy Vet Renee and I missed it? I'm so sorry. Can you ask again? Because if I go back, I'm never going to find it. I'm, ab I'm about to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. I was saying that I think I keep sneezing when I'm doing videos so that y'all can bless me. I know that's what it is. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness. I know. I know. Let me see. Um, uh, need one to do foundation paper piecing. Okay. So see, okay. Look at Gina says that the add a quarter was the game changer for her. I have never used one ever. <laughs> so listen, I, it's just sort of, it's sort of like the, um, what are they called? The, um, you know, that tool where you, you put it up against your thing and then you can like do the four, oh, the little square thing. Anyway, um, and, and the thing is, is that it has a lip on it, right? So it's going to nest itself right up against your seam allowance, okay? And so basically, the block lock, thank you. It's the same as like the block lock. So the block lock has a lip on it, and you can put that lip right up against your seam allowance, and the ruler, for the most part, is not going to move, right? Because it's, it's nestled up against seam allowance. Now... <laughs> Here's the thing. Block lock is wonderful, right? Like I'm not I am not saying it's not an awesome tool, but it's not necessary. So for me, what I like to say is, look, it's an awesome tool. If you can afford to get one, not that they're that expensive, but there are some people who really have to watch their their their, their nickels and dimes, right? So all I'm saying is, it's a wonderful tool and it, it absolutely will do the job that it was made to do. And you can totally buy one and you're going to love it. I'm not saying you're not going to love it. I'm just saying that if you can't afford it and you, there are other things that you would, that you definitely need, right? So if you can't afford it, there's still, you can still do paper piecing because like I've never used one. I'm not saying it wouldn't, it wouldn't be all, I have one up on the thing, but I have like so many rulers already over there. And really all you need is a ruler with a quarter inch line on it. And you just put it down and then you cut the thing. I mean, I'm not saying it's not great. I'm just saying it's really not necessary, right? It's, it's a tool. It's another tool. So like with block lock, 
block lock is awesome. And if you get like the perfect size and you put it right up against there, then boop, 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 you're done. And it makes short work of it and it's awesome. But if you can't afford it, then you can still make those blocks. It's just going to be a little hard, you know, a little bit more to pay attention to or a little more to, but it is not impossible. So that's all I'm saying. Um, it's a and I did buy the add an eighth tool. I think I put it over there. So I did buy one and I will use it to show people how it works. Um, I would definitely do that. But, um, but, but, you know, I just, my, I'm still sticking to, you really don't need it. You know, like I had someone like try to argue with me about it on my blog post and say that, you know, you absolutely had to have the, the add a quarter. I'm not going to argue with people. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really not. It's not an argument. I, I'm not even trying to like start a fight or nothing like that. I'm just trying to think about the people who may be on a tight budget and still want to quilt and, you know, and do all these lovely things and you absolutely can. Um, and it will be just fine, you know. Um, okay, so... Renee, okay, so am I going to use the same color pattern that's on the front? Well, here's what I'm going to be doing. Hold up. All right, so this is the fabric that I have. This is Alice in Glass Sunprint 2019, right? And on the pattern, um, they used all solids, and it looks to me like it might be um, like a linen. Jim might be coming up here. I have no idea. I can hear him down there. Anyway, um, and so I'm not doing this. I'm going to use the Alice in Glass Sunprint 2019. Um, just because I have plenty of it so I can, I don't have to worry. And if I have time, I might be using Canning Day to do like a, a spring color type thing. Okay. You have to turn that off. I got an emergency. Turn that off. Uh, all right. I got to go, guys. Yep. Sorry.